Hi there. This part is known as a hilo and it's used to adjust the ride height on a classic mini fitted with the rubber suspension. Here I'm taking the 90 diameter by 50 blank and cleaning up both faces and a bit of the diameter and drilling a rather large hole. Hole's too large for most small CNC basically. But the parts need to be reasonably true when they go into the CNC because if they're running out and it starts vibrating something horrible you have to stop the machine anyway and reposition it. It's just a mess. So it's easier to clean up both ends and the diameter in the center lathe. Yeah, as it says, I'm using the DRO to position the tool and I just want to rip it off as quickly as possible. It does tend to throw swarf everywhere. Makes a real mess in the workshop. And I just take it up to a stop. I just turn the handles as quickly as I can, basically. Turn it round. Turn and face again. And just rip it off as quickly as I can. This will then go into a drill press, which is fitted with a Piper tapping head. They're a great Australian product. One of those things that you pay for and uh, hope that you never regret the pay the amount you've paid but I never have with this it's a brilliant piece of stuff it uh, just works and it's got a clutch on it so I've even had down to a M3 tap in it and the clutch just allows you to not worry about breaking something as small as an M3 tap it's a brilliant piece of tooling CNC lathe. <clears throat> First thing we've got to do is bore out a rather large bore. That boring bar is just about long enough to do the job, which means I can put as much feed and cut on it as I can get away with basically try and get the job done. These lathes are not nearly big enough for this job. This is the sort of job where you need to be able to take two and three millimetre cuts. I've been doing this job for a number of years and it's only recently I actually upgraded the spindle driver on this machine. It was getting something like 140 volts for a 180 volt motor and it just was not able to get this job done very quickly. Since I've upgraded the spindle driver, the actual cycle times in the machine has dropped from about 10 minutes to 6 and I don't, I don't expect to be able to do any better than that with half horsepower. The motor's rated at 5 amps continuous and I've fitted an ammeter to the machine so that I can actually see when I'm getting full value out of the motor. See the depth of cut is much bigger on this can cycle. When the diameter varies so much from the outside to the, the smallest diameter that you're cutting, if you use a number of can cycles, it allows you to 
change the depth of cut and the feed for each of those can cycles. This means you can optimise the amount of material that you're removing for each can cycle. And it makes a big difference to how much you can, how quickly you can get through the job. It means I can make sure that for each, as the diameter reduces, I can actually make sure that the motor is still drawing 5 amps. And basically it can't do any better than that. Now this is a side we really have to remove a lot of material. Running a bit of spray coolant on this just to try and uh, make the tool inserts last a bit longer. You see that cut is uh, one millimeter, one millimeter deep. Well, actually, the caption says one point two. So I believe the caption. I'm narrating this sometime after the video was first put together. This lathe, with its normal belt and pulley configuration has a top speed of 3000 rpm I've got a belt and a pulley that allows me to change it so that ignore that caption this narration is going over the top of that so you can still hear me hopefully um, yeah so you can see the cuts are getting deeper look that one's quite deep I'll just finish off at I think it's 0.05 feed per revolution. Oh, there, there you go. Feeds 0.06. It's funny, but when I had a Mini, it didn't have the rubber suspension. It had hydroelastic suspension. Which was rather nice, I must admit. quite pleased with that finish just got to use a boring bar to tidy up the uh, end of that M20 thread there you go and that's the part finished hang on a bit and we've got some photos of the part as they've been finished and thank you for watching